channel. Okay, guys. Well, um, I don't know if you were watching the last one or not, but uh, whoops. This game originally when it came out was lauded by a lot of people as one of the worst games that Nintendo had ever made. Uh, a lot of people's theory on that, because I've seen other people play and stream. How do I pull up? There's the map. Okay. I gotta be able to pull up the map to actually effectively play this. Okay, so I think other player people, other YouTubers and stuff that I have seen do this, uh, they have said, and I think they're correct, that the reason people hate this game so much is because that's not where I want to be. Um, being me, I can never figure out which way I want to go. Okay, so I'm going to keep going this way. I probably should have gone the other way. Until I get another break that's not in the woods. And... Ooh, if I get there on time. Um, I, we, anyway, the theory is the reason that people don't like this game is because they don't know how to play it. Um, you just, you know, you figure you can't dodge, you die right away, you know, what have you. I guess I can really go whatever way. But if you know how to play it, if you figure it out, it's actually a pretty fun game. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get there in time now because I was all messing with these uh, zombies and stuff. Anyway, uh, right now, the at the beginning of the game, you're going to see Jason pop out every once. The people's faces at the bottom. Those are the fellow campers. Uh or counselors, I'm sorry. Those are the counselors, okay? Um, every once in a while, you're going to see Jason pop out. And he's going to... He, well, you're going to... The alarm's going to go off, and you're going to know that Jason is killing somebody. So, when that happens, you need to get to wherever he is killing somebody, and you need to, to beat him off, ward him off. Um, as you progress, you get better and better weapons, so they do more damage to Jason. Where am I here? Oh, I don't think I'm going to get there. He just killed somebody. Oh! I just died. Sorry. Okay. Um, the people's face. These are your counselors. These are your camp counselors. These are the dudes that you use to fight Jason. Um, so, yeah. He's going to pop out. You have to go face Jason and try to kill him. Or try to do enough damage that he goes away. Okay. I should say. Um, the more you do in the game, you get better weapons. And better weapons, the more damage does. And the goal, the other goal is, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself a little bit here. I'm messing with these controls. Uh, the large houses, you see these large houses on the map here. Um, those cabins have a fireplace in them. And once you get the uh, lighter, you need to go to all the large cabins on the map and light the fireplaces. Once they're all lit, we're going to get a letter. And the letter is going to tell us to go into one of the cabins by the lake or go into the forest or what have you. And when you go there, you're going to get a really special weapon that does a lot more damage. And basically, you're you're trying to outlast Jason uh, and kill him before all of your counselors die and before he, he he kills all the children. The children are in those three cabins there by the lake. So, okay, this dude is one of the best guys because he is really fast. He jumps really far. Uh, what is this mark? Yeah, I'm going the right way, I think. So yeah. Um, the theory on these zombies, I guess, is that they're the spirits of the counselors that Jason has killed in the past. So, you gotta dodge them, obviously. Now, um, oh, I don't have a lighter of this character. My dude that had a lighter passed out, or died. Okay, and obviously, if, you, if enough damage is done to a counselor, whether it's through the zombies or through Jason himself, uh, you're eventually gonna die. Uh, yeah, I need to get a lighter. There's a lighter. Okay. And a better weapon. I just got a, a knife. And unfortunately, I think once you go into a cabin, the, the countdown timer ends. So that, um, you know, you have time to light whatever, uh, the campfire of wherever you're at. Whatever uh, cabin you're in. I'm sorry, I'm not explaining things very well. But, uh, oh, I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Uh, no, that way. Yeah. So, right now, obviously the alarm's going off. He's killing the person in the little, you see, I'm, the little person is where I am. And that little shining white house, that's the cabin where he's at. He's killing one of my counselors. Um, 
Now, there is there are theories where... Where am I here? Yep, I need to go here. Um, I don't know if I go right or left. Am I going the right way? I can't tell. I think I am. No, I'm not. I'm going the wrong way, of course. Oh, he's going to kill that person. Is this it? Yes, okay. So, this is Chrissy. This is the where he's at. Oh, Chrissy is one of really good ones, too. Shoot. Uh, Mark and Jay, uh, Mark and Chrissy are probably the best ones you can have. They're fast and they jump really good. So he was in this cabin killing her. Uh, we had to come save her. So Jason is in this cabin and uh, we need to try to do enough damage to him that he goes away and leaves us alone. Okay? So, oh boy. <laughs> I was talking about this on the last stream too, uh, on the um, Frogger. I survival horror games are probably one of my favorite genre to watch other youtubers play but when it comes to playing myself i'm a complete and total wuss <laughs> i don't know why um this one i can sometimes do um but it's still kind of freaky for me um when i was a kid and i would play this game my sister would play because i would get too freaked out and scared to actually do it i could watch her play i'd be okay but uh, I would just always panic. So this is going to be an interesting experience for me. I, <laughs> it's been years since I played this, but and nowadays with the updated graphics, and I, there's no way I could do it. I like to watch, but I can't play it. So I'm glad you came in, Metallic, because this might be a, a rare occasion for you to see me playing a horror game and probably panicking and dying, but we'll see. <laughs> ah! And whoa. Clearly, uh, he does some dodging here. You gotta, you gotta um, dodge as much as you can his punches. If you don't, he, he just killed me. Uh, <laughs> he kills you. Okay, Debbie sucks, and Chrissy is mostly dead. So clearly, I don't think we're. Oh yeah, he's killing her right away because she's hurt. I don't think we're gonna be beating him this time, but it's just been so long since I played. Uh, I'm trying to kill enough of these up there zombies that I get a lighter, because uh, you need the lighter to be able to do anything. Oh my goodness! Yeah, he's there's no way I'm gonna get to Chrissy in time to save her, but um, I'm gonna try. We'll pop into this cabin and uh, light the fireplace while we're here. Oh goodness. Yeah, and if you get really good at this, you know, it's not bad. Now, also, something else that you can do is you can, uh, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> uh, I like horror because I love to get scared, but it's different if I'm the one that's in charge because uh, I just, I'm such a wuss that I, I can't handle it. I, I freak out. Medicine, yay. Um, so yeah, I, I'm just, yeah, I don't know. It's a different level of scared when I have to be the one that's supposed to fix it. I, I just freeze. Yeah, she's dead. Oh boy, I'm not doing so good this time, guys. Ugh. There's a knife. Yeah, she's, yeah. I don't have enough time to get up there. He was smart. He went to the counselor who was uh, really hurt. So I'm not going to be able to make it there before she's dead. Uh, ooh, a key. Oh my goodness. Yeah, when you get good at it, this is this is a fun game. <laughs> when you don't know how to do it, uh, or you just are so out of practice at it, it's it's hard. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I already lost because she's the last counselor other than me that needs defeated. And as soon as she's dead, he's going to come after me right away. So, whoop. Uh, take. Go into one of the cabins by the lake. Yeah, you'll get these, you're peri periodically, you will get uh, these notes that'll tell you something and um, generally you can find something special. Oh, he just killed her. That means he's gonna be coming after me. Jason can appear on the roadside. If he appears on the roadside, you have nowhere to hide from him and he just wails on you. You could also wail on him if you have the torch, which is the most powerful uh, weapon in the game. It it's, can sometimes be really good if he shows up on the street, but right now we know he's going to be coming for me because there's nobody else left to kill, so I'm expecting him any minute here to, uh, <laughs> to appear, and I'm going to be dead. I can never remember which way is which on the map, so, okay, I'm just 
gonna continue on and try to get uh, as many <laughs> fireplaces lit as I can, but I don't expect that I'm gonna be able to survive this. Uh, my son, actually, this type of, like, the Friday the 13th games, he thinks they're hilarious. Um, he doesn't think they're scary, he thinks they're fake, <laughs> and he thinks they're funny. Now, um, and he doesn't, he just has absolutely no interest in playing uh, horror games. He will sometimes watch a horror game. Okay, so now he's killing the children on the lake. I thought he was right away going to go after um, me, but I forgot that there are children on the lake that he can go after to kill. Uh, yeah. Is it this? I don't remember which way is which. I think I'm going down and I should be there. Uh, he, he will play, he will watch, um, people play like Five Nights at Freddy's is actually a favorite of both of ours to watch, um, but I could never play it. Uh, and he's also, uh, maybe this has something to do with me because I trained him right or whatever, but he, whoop, oh, go back. Um, if it's a movie or whatever that has a really good storyline. There's a machete in a cabin in the middle of the woods. Oh boy, that would be nice to have. Um, if it's a horror movie that has a really good storyline, which you typically, unfortunately, don't find anymore. Not a slasher, but a good like suspense or horror movie. She's already almost dead. All right, um, he will watch it. I'll give you an example, and this is one of my absolute favorites. Uh, it's a haunted house story is what it is. Is um, My favorite, well, one of my absolute favorites, I don't know if I could pinpoint just one that was my favorite, to be honest with you, but one of them is the one I was about to mention called The Others with, uh, oh golly, I can't think of her name right now. Um, the redhead that Tom Cruise used to be married to, um, Nicole Kidman. She uh, was in The Others. And it's so good. If you haven't seen it, I highly, highly recommend it. There, I mean, you're not going to see any, like, oh, that's Jason. He's on the road now. He came after me to kill me. I'm about to die. Oh! Ah! <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> okay. You and your friends are dead. Game over. I, you know, I have a t-shirt that says the exact same thing. You and your friends are dead. Game over. And it has a picture of the... the Jason character from this game in the background. <laughs> All right, let's try to start over fresh here and see if we can do better. I'm going to start with somebody. Well, I'm going to start with somebody slow just to practice because, yeah. Okay, use the torch to light the fireplaces. That's your goal. Um, yeah, the others is is so good. And again, it there's you're not going to find the special effects in that one, but the story. It's just really scary. It keeps you guessing. You know, it's got the creepy scenery. Um, I need to pull things so I can get uh, my lighter. Um, yeah, it's just really good. And that type of genre of movie, or horror movie, is my favorite. I, I don't even know if it's called horror or if it's called, uh, I guess, supernatural horror. Um, the Conjuring, yes. Yes, I love The Conjuring. That's also a very, very good one. Okay, what's this say? Go into the cabin near the cave. And sometimes these things, they don't really seem to have much point to them. These letters. Sometimes you can get a really good weapon if you follow this direction. But sometimes it just doesn't do anything. Alright, I need a better weapon. Give me some better weapons. Gotta try to work okay, where you at? Okay, he's there. Um uh, I going the right uh, okay. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going this way, so I need to go up past the forest and at the next break after forest I need to take the pathway. Okay. Um Yeah. The conjuring is another one of my favorites. Again, that's that supernatural horror. Um and of course, if you know anything about uh, the Warrens, Ed and Lorraine Warren, unfortunately they both passed now, but uh, they, uh, 
I did a lot of work with haunting and supernatural cases in real life. And uh, Ed was a demonologist. So, of course he. And, oh, did I go the wrong way? I did. Well, I'll just have to go this way then. Anyway, um, if I were better about directions, that would be so much better at this game. That was another reason my sister always did it, because, uh, my, obviously my direction sense is horrendous. Okay, uh, I need to go up. So it's up right or, I think I went, it's up right or left. Yeah, clearly, uh, this, I'm just not going to be good at this game. <laughs> Conjuring's really good. The first paranormal activity was good. Uh, some of those I like. Um, yeah, it's the supernatural ones that get me. I probably, the reason I find those the most scary is because I do believe in the supernatural. I mean, I believe in, in God and the devil and demons. So I, that's probably why they're so scary to me. Because uh, I feel like it's something that could potentially happen for, you know, for the most part. But yeah, it's yeah, that's why those are my favorites. I still, though, because of... I was telling this story, I think, in the last stream. Um, <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street was the first uh, horror movie that I watched when I was like nine years old that scared the, the jeepers out of me. I, I just, for months... Did he just kill them? He did. I, I ran out of time. Um, for months, I had nightmares about that one. <laughs> Freddy Krueger. And, of course, you know, he gets you when you're sleeping. So... As a little kid, what are you going to do? You're just not going to go to sleep. All right. So I'm going to go on this pathway and try to get the large cabins lit. Because that's what I need to be doing. Uh, he killed somebody. I don't know who he killed. But he killed somebody because I couldn't get to them in time. Uh, yeah, I like The Conjuring's. I, I, the second Conjuring movie was okay. It... Um, it was based off a true story too, but I don't know. I feel like they just uh, they took more liberties with that one. And I just didn't like it as much. Um, I'm trying to think what another really good one is. I I actually was okay with. Okay, I'm gonna keep going this way. Oops. Uh, I was Um, how you can tell when he's coming is the zombies that are on the on the pathway they all of a sudden turn turn the other direction and don't want to have anything to do with you that's how you know that uh, Jason's coming I'm gonna kill come on, come on me <laughs> um, I, I'm sorry I started to say uh, I really I actually kind of enjoyed the woman in black um, which had Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter's actor in it. I thought it was good. Um, he he almost understated that role, but I liked it. It, it just worked, you know? You, you didn't exactly know when something was going to pop out, and I, I like how he did it. And the story was good. That's, that's a supernatural horror. Like, um, you could think of it as uh, the, a ghost story, uh, a haunting. I was going to say a, it's a, not a residual haunting, if I'm going the right way. This is why I can't play this game. <laughs> um, I figured I'd try it, but obviously I'm not doing too well. Not a residual haunting. I guess just your lingering haunts that happens. And I have known people in my life, uh, even religious people, who have had issues with supernatural entities. It's no joke. Um, um, Alright, we're going to go left. Oh, he's, I'm almost, he's almost done killing the kids. I'm almost there. Oh, okay, I made it. There's like one kid left. Um, so he's here. I don't have much health. Um, I'm going to have to dodge his attacks and try to get him with, uh, I think I have rocks right now or baseball, baseballs, whichever. Uh, the little medicine thing that you sometimes see outside that you can get. Basically, that means when you run out of health, it gives you a little bit of health again. Um, so you don't die right away. So, this is going to be interesting, guys. Yeah. <gasps> okay, I'm 
getting better anyway. Boy. The best time to get him is when he backs up there, because you can get a few shots on him. But until then, you just dodge him and get as many of these shots off him as you can until he goes away. So, um, whoops. Ooh. Oh, he died. <laughs> okay. I was about to say I'm getting better at it, but uh, clearly not better enough. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of try to go through the, the worst to the better of the counselors because, uh, <laughs> I want to save my, uh, good ones for the end of the game. Maybe by then I'll have gotten better enough that uh, it's not so bad. Okay, I'm gonna go left, which I hope is the right way. Uh, okay, well, this is one way to go. Ugh, sorry guys. I, I, I like the game and I know how to do it theoretically, but I'm really not very oops, good at it. Oh, go into the cabin near the cave, and sometimes that'll lead you to a really good weapon. Um, okay, there's another cabin lit. And there are some things that you can find in the forest, which, uh, if we're able to get to it, I'll show you. Come on, guys, give me a dagger. Give me something that's not a rock. Okay, I need to go this way, I think. Uh, and those birds, it, you can't dodge anything really when you're in the boat, so that's really frustrating. And sometimes, Jason will pop out when you're in the boat, like a little motorboat going across, and he'll start attacking you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do to dodge him. Okay, alright, let's try this again. And it doesn't do, like, the spatial, like, I'm in this room, and he's in the room on the left, and I should be able to see him. It doesn't do that. He just pops out suddenly. Eh. I know he's really not all that scary compared to today's games, but man. Okay, okay, I can do this. I can dodge him. I mean, if you think about it, this is nothing compared to Punch-Out, right? <laughs> he's just down. It's freaking scary. Okay, okay. We actually beat him off that time. See? You win for now. Okay, so he went away, which means you saved the children. And uh, now you can go back to doing what you're doing about trying to light the caves and stuff. Uh, working home take- oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Uh, I'm hanging out. Yeah. Alright, he's attacking. I think left is down. I He's attacking one of my counselors. I'm glad you're here with me because- oh, there he is. Because uh, Christy, she's my good one too. At least I caught it so soon. <laughs> I know, right? It's scary. Okay, Chrissy is one of my best. Chrissy and Mark. Um, he was killing her, so now I gotta beat him again. I still got just rocks. <laughs> and he apparently found... Whoa! He apparently found a machete. <laughs> uh, when you see him back up and then come straight for you again, that means he's gonna do a double swipe with a sword. So... He does it again, I'll point it out. Oh good, I got him again. See, I am getting better. I am. <laughs> you win for now. Okay, Christy's okay. Now, I think this is, um, if you know where the counselors are, like, say for some reason, the, the door to, the door, the dude I'm using now, George, if I had the ultimate weapon, in this case, it would be the, uh, the torch, I could pass that torch on to Christy, and then, uh, use Christy, I could change. And then she would have the good weapon, because she's one of the good characters. But I don't have it yet. Obviously, I still have rocks, so I can't do that. Um, that part of the strategy I, I never really um, did much with. But I know I know it's, it's can be a good strategy. You don't have to do that to win. But uh, it's something... Yay, at least I got a knife. It's something you can do. Uh, I don't remember if I got that big cabin on the left. I think I did, actually. Uh, I don't want to go in the cave yet. I mean, the woods. Although, to be fair, there are some things in here I should probably look for, so maybe I... The problem with the, the woods is 
Whoa, you can get lost pretty quickly in here. Uh, okay, there's a cabin off to the right, so... Whoa, dude, get, 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 get. get. Um, and he will sometimes come into the forest and attack you on the pathway, too. Ooh, I'm gonna get that medicine. So, yeah, it, it's a good game. I'm just, I'm just such a wash and so bad at directions that I'm just not very good at it. Where am I at here? And it, it doesn't make sense either. Is he coming? Oh, that zombie turned around. I thought he was going to show up on the pathway. George is about to die. Yeah, he just died. Have I? Um, I, <laughs> I haven't personally. My sister has. Uh, when I would play it, she would usually be the one to play because she could calm down enough to actually play, play it. Um, I, oops, I can tell you that, uh, when you get the torch, it's a lot easier. When you get the torch, um, every time you hit him with the, with the torch, it takes down one of his health bars. So, uh, yeah. And once you get him down to zero, I mean, stop it. I don't want to give away too much. Why can't I jump there? Uh, once you, oh, I don't even have the torch. Uh, once you get him down to zero health bars, it's not necessarily the end of the game. I'll just say that. Uh, you have to... There's more to it than that. <laughs> There's some... There. There we go. There's a lighter. Uh, I just missed the medicine that was outside. And, yeah, it's kind of like the movies. If you beat him once, great, but he comes back more powerful than ever. And there's a few rounds of that before he's defeated completely. So, and of course, every time he gets harder and harder and harder. All right, I'm going to keep going this way. Please give me something else. Get, jump. Why can't, I can't, oh, I apparently can't jump. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I apparently can't jump when I'm holding something. So, I know it, it, it is hard, I guess, until you get your, your movements correct. But, once you do, you're okay. <laughs> Just, um, my direction sense and stuff. Um, so, no, I have not personally. My sister has beaten it. Alright, I'm just going to go around this outer edge. I'm trying to kill enough of these guys that uh, I can get a better weapon. Because uh, eventually it should give me a dagger. Um, I don't think I've gotten any of the large caverns. Or cabins on the, le the west of the map, so go that way and try to get those. She's fast, but she's... That's about it. <laughs> and he's killing the children, of course. So now I gotta turn around and go after him. Give me another freaking weapon that's better than this. Uh, okay, we're gonna go left. They just... Okay, I think we're going left. You see, when he does that, when he comes to you in the water, you, you there's just no possible way for you to even dodge him. It's really unfair. Okay. Well, I got here in time to uh, keep him from killing the kids, but I'm sure he's going to stick around to kill me off, finish me off, because I'm almost dead. <laughs> see that, how he comes straight at you? That means he's going to go twice. Um... One thing I don't understand, why is the freaking hockey mask blue? <laughs> it was never blue. Or green, it was always white, some kind of white. Yeah, sometimes if your counselor is particularly low on health, he will hang around longer just to uh, see if he can finish you off. Okay, good, I managed to, to uh, beat him off. <laughs> oh, goodness sakes. So... Yeah, and if you get somebody who knows what they're doing on this and has no trouble with directions, you can beat this easy in a half an hour, but <laughs> I am not that person, unfortunately. All right, we're going to go this way and uh, try to go up towards the west part of the map because I think that's where the other cabins are that uh, we have not yet. Uh, 
Wait, I want to go, I think, right? Cabins that we haven't lit the fireplaces yet. Give me a freaking knife! <laughs> she died. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I got the two best people left. Uh, Chrissy is there. Okay, I'm going to go with Mark because he's on that western side where I need to get the uh, cabins. Okay, so... Let's go left. Give me a lighter, please, so I can continue the work. There it is. Oh, oh, oh no, he's coming for me. Did you see that? Yeah, it does sort of look like punch out. But when you're on the road and you see the zombies all of a sudden turn away from you and go the other direction, that means that Jason is on the road and he's about to attack you on the road. So that's interesting. Now I'm kind of afraid to go out of the cabin because I'm afraid he's going to be there on the road waiting for me. Go into one of the cabins by the lake. He says that because uh, I guess maybe it's another note or I might be able to get another one. Yep. He was waiting for me. Oh my gosh, he's just gonna sit here and attack me. Oh my gosh, he just stood there and totally killed me. He doesn't usually do that. He usually eventually leaves. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, Christy, you're it, girl. <laughs> you're the only one we've got left. Okay, you now have the um, lighter, which is good. I'm gonna keep going. Wait. No, I do need to get down there because I need to get up. Oh no. I don't. Oh my gosh. Alright, I need to go left because I need to get up to the western part of the map. Alright. Please give me something else. I really don't like these rocks. Come on, give me a dagger. I don't know if I've gotten this, this cabin yet. We're gonna see. trying to be careful with her. She's obviously our last one. Okay, what's that say? Go into the cabin near the cave. Okay. Yeah, it, it punch out, but much scarier. I mean, punch out is intimidating, <laughs> but it's not this scary. I don't know. I, I mean, I know it's just a little Nintendo... 16-bit character, but... <laughs> okay, um... I'm gonna go back here, because... Come on. I think I need to go back. Uh, give me something else! I should be able to get... Yeah, I need to go down here. Uh... I think I'm supposed to go left. I need to get another weapon, and they're not giving me anything. Uh, oh, 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 no! He's just gonna stand here and kill me! He never does this! Why? Oh my gosh. I have a t shirt with that exact statement and a little Jason. Alright, let's try again. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Oh! And I am. Um, this is getting me really nervous. So. <laughs> so pathetic. All right. Okay. Well, since I still suck, let's go ahead and start with the slow characters again. I want to show you some of the other things that you can do in the game, but I got to survive long enough to do that. Ugh. Yeah, that's the thing. Until you get good at it and figure out how to win, it it's hard. And I think people... Most of them just uh, lost patience uh, when they were playing this game, and that's why they said it was horrible. But if you can do it, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, he does that, you know. Uh, oh, wait, what's that say? Go into the cabin near the cave. And again, I, I still think that sometimes they're usually kind of leading you on a wild goose chase. There. Okay, lit that. Help me remember which uh, cabins I lit and didn't. Um, okay, where are we at? We're by the lake, so I'm going to get all the big cabins around the lake. I'll keep going this way. Hopefully I can get a better weapon here. 
And it's only the big cabinets you can light. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh. Okay, I think he's... Okay, well, I'm headed that direction, so... Or am I not? Is it longer to go the top way or the bottom way? Let's try going this way. I think this is shorter, I think. <sighs> I went past it, so now I gotta go back. Uh, I'm going the wrong way, but I guess you could get there this way too. Uh, well anyway, I'm getting all the cabins that are around the lake. So first thing is the cabins around the lake, and then I'll go around the outer edges. Oh, I already, oh. of course I was already there. Oh my gosh. I, it, I have no idea why my direction sense is so horrendous. I really don't. Um, it's always been like that. It doesn't matter if it's a map in real life or if it's some other kind of like a game. I can't read compasses. <laughs> I just, I suck with the directions. Okay. Um, when we get to this next junction. Okay. Uh, and I think we go left to go up. I think. I think. Okay. Well, anyway, at least we're in another um, cabin with a fireplace to light. Here we go. I generally always go the opposite direction of where I want to go. So really what I should do is say, okay, I think it's that way and then go the other way. <laughs> That's what I should do. Oh, I'm trying. Oh, I bet you he's killing one of my good ones too. I'm not going to make it in time. Yeah, I'm not going to make it. There's no way. They're dead. Who did he kill? Well, Christy's still there, so at least he didn't kill one of the good ones. Alright, so I got both the big cabins by the lake. I'm just going to go to the left and kind of go to the west and try to get those big cabins. Ah, ah! Or he could do that. The only thing you can really do to avoid his hits is to jump. Don't be there. Ugh. Okay. Let's go in here. Okay. Oop. There's a machete hidden somewhere in the cave. Well, that's great. Um. <laughs> we can go in the cave. And then, you, yeah, you have those areas like the forest and the cave. Where the directions are just like it's intentionally supposed to be hard. It's just that someone like me who's so bad at directions to begin with. <laughs> Alright, um, let's go in this pathway, try to get the... I was going to say try to get the, uh, the cabins up here. But of course, naturally now he's killing somebody. He's killing the kids. So I got to go try to stop him over there. Okay, but we're getting a lot more of the, uh, the fireplaces lit. So I am doing better, just <laughs> not good enough. Okay, um, I need to go the other direction because I gotta get out of here. Yep, and then is left up or is right up? I don't remember. Um... Okay, I think right was up. I can't tell. Did I get this one already? I might have. Yeah, I did. So terrible directions. 
course I went the wrong way. I don't even... Alright, let's go this way. Is this the way we were going a minute ago? I just... My internal compass has always been broken. Yeah, that's where we need to go. We need to go in here. Uh... I want to go left. I think left is the way I want to go. Yeah, I think so. Paul's almost dead. Oh, I already got this one. <laughs> oh, good lord. I'm sorry I suck at this game, but it, it actually is pretty... I think it's pretty fun once you get used to it. All right, I'm working on it. Don't kill those kids. Then do nothing to you. All right. We're going to be going to the right. Okay, uh, I just died there. The medicine kicked in, though. That's why I came back to life. That's what just happened. Okay. Um, <laughs> I got to dodge him or I'm going to die. And let's see, there's only like one or two bars gone from him. Straight ons are two punches. Yeah, you, you really got to get those better weapons if you're going to have a chance of killing him. I haven't done that yet. I got to get the, the fireplaces lit before I can get the good weapon. You do get machetes and stuff, but the best thing is the torch. Alright. So I saved the kids. Now where was I? <laughs> as far as uh, lighting the, the fireplaces, I, I don't know. See, that's the thing. I forget. He, I, I have a pattern, a plan for which way I'm going to go. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. And then uh, he interrupts and I forget. <laughs> <laughs> with my between my negative direction sense and my horrible uh, short-term memory I just uh, I suck at this what where is he okay I think I'm on the way yeah it, it if I was better at it it would be fun I think I go to the right if that's the right way to go yeah I think I'm on the right way okay I already got that one. If I just, if I was better with my directions and remembering which ones I've lit and haven't lit, uh, it is a fun game. I'm getting better, though. Progressively here, every game that I've played tonight, uh, I'm getting better. I'm lasting longer anyway. Those birds are hard to dodge. No, I don't want to go down there. I want to keep going straight. Yeah, nice house. Right, yep, next house. Boop. Christy. Christy's my good one. I stopped her from following him, for, from killing her. That's good. Okay. Yeah, never knowing where he's going to pop out is the scary part. <gasps> my son got me to sit down one time and try to play Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh my gosh, you should have seen me. It was hilarious. As soon as uh, I thought something was going to happen, I screamed and pulled my knees up on the chair and just hid my face. <laughs> oh man. You can watch him just fine, but can't play him. It's just, uh, I guess it's so much more personal when you're the one playing, you know? <laughs> Trying to survive. Okay, good. Get away from Chrissy. She's my good one. Okay. All right. Okay. Now help me figure out which ones I've lit. I think I got all the ones around the cave. I think. So I'm going to go right and start going on the border and see which ones I've missed. Am 
I going to write? I hope I'm going to write. No, I'm not. Good lord. Every time I think I know which way to go, I'm wrong. Uh, I can get there this way too. Did I just die? Oh my gosh. Uh, Alright, well, this is kind of where I was heading, so let's go this way. See, if, let me get my torch. Try not to get hit. Here's the torch. Okay. Try to avoid the zombies instead of getting killed. Please give me a better weapon. Yeah, I don't want to go... Oh, here he comes. He was about to get me on the... <gasps> Medicine. Okay. I could chase after him if I wanted to. I do not. <laughs> I don't have a good weapon right now. Okay. We're gonna go west. Um... Keep going west. Go up to that western area. I know that I kept heading up there and then he kept interrupting. Eee! Stop it! Stupid piece of crap zombies! And I'm hurting. Uh, apparently I'm, I suck at uh, dodging. Oh good, I didn't have that one already. Okay. Um... So I think there's another one I'm missing up here, up uh, on this western part of town, right? Or the map? Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. I think, I, am I getting pretty close to having all these uh, fireplaces lit? Yeah, I wanna go in here and then I wanna go up. I think up is right, come on. just died. That's what that was. That pause. <sighs> Am I going the right way? I don't know. Let's just keep going this way. There's the cave. Um, I don't have enough. Oh, come on. I was just about to say, let's go in the cave and see if we can find, um, there is something. You can find a machete out here. What is that? What are those things? Um. I just want to see if I can... Oh. I wanted to see if there was a better weapon in there, and there should have been. Alright, Laura is our last one that sucks. Uh, which ones are we missing? As far as the cabins go. I gotta be missing at least one cabin. Dude! Maybe he knows we figured out how to get him. So he's... Where am I? I don't want to go in the forest. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Did I? I don't think I did. No, I want to be in there because I I need to uh, be along the lake to get him. I think we already have this one, but I'll pop in just to see. Oh, she doesn't even have a lighter. Okay, I haven't gotten this one, which is good to know, but I need to get a... <laughs> yeah. The cave uh, apparently is camouflaged to make it harder to, to know which way to go. Come on. Give me a lighter. Thank you. This is one of the few I have left, I think, uh, to light. So I'm, oh, I'm getting pretty close. Is this the last one, maybe? Is that what this letter is? Go into the cabin near the cave. Okay. I'm getting close. I have to be close to having all of these lit. And when I have it lit, I gotta go find the torch. And the torch 
should kick his butt. To the right. I'm going, I'm going. Stupid bird. Coming, I'm coming, kids! Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm getting kind of close this time. Uh, eh. <laughs> oh, he's mad. He just wants to kill me. Look at that. Yeah, I just need a better weapon and then I could get him. I could get him down. It's just, it takes too long with these wussy weapons. Okay. I gotta be close to having all of these stinking... Um, fireplaces. Do you know of any that I'm missing? Have you told me what, what side of the country you live on? Because your time zone... Unless you work at night. It's pretty late to be working. Maybe you work second shift or something. There we go. Okay. Um, which one am I missing? I, I had, There has to be one of these cabins that I'm missing. Because otherwise it would be telling me that there's a torch. Um, maybe that one up at the top left. Let's go that way. See if we can figure it out. I at? Okay. I want to go down. I think this is down. No, it wasn't. <sighs> yeah, I, I think I got this one already. Yep. Okay, so I just gotta figure out which one I have left. Um, I went the wrong freaking way. Okay, yeah, alright, I was wondering, because it's, uh, pretty late here, it's 10 o'clock here. I didn't have that one lit yet. Okay, uh, am I getting close? Texas, is that central time? Okay, dude, dudes. Uh, why are you going away from me? He's gonna pop out gonna kill her. Oh, he already ran away. Good, 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 good. Okay. There's got... Okay, I'm going the right way for the one I think I might have missed. But I'm so close to death. Okay. Alright. So, I'm gonna go to my two good ones. Oh, good. He's right beside... I think the one that I'm missing... If you can see my mouse, I think the one I'm missing is right up there that one on that top root. I think that's the one I'm missing. But who knows. So I think going left is the right thing to do. Oh man, yeah, you guys still have rocks. Oh, well there I got two of them. Medicine is always good. Well, I got my two best left. Okay, all right. Um, that was another one. Okay, yeah, I'm on the East Coast. Okay, I have to be close. I have to be close. So, one more up there, and I think that's it. Give me a better weapon, please, at least a knife. I have to be close to that torch. I went the wrong way again, naturally, but, uh, yeah, I want to get that one at the top. Okay. 
Give me a knife! Yeah, there's a there's a big cabin right there. Okay, I have to go around and get it from the other side. I'll pop in here, but I think I already got this. Oh, dang it, there was a key. I missed it. I gotta be close. I'm getting excited. Oh, that one wasn't lit. Because I gotta be close. And once you get the torch, you can usually get him. There's, uh, there's something else that you can get. Uh, if you go into the forest, there's a house in the forest. And if... Of course you're doing that. If, um... If you go into the cabin in the woods, in the forest, um... You're gonna you find Jason's mother, and Jason's mother she's pretty hard to kill. But if you kill her, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the Friday the Thirteenth movies, but in one of the movies, the one character uh, takes the shrine. Uh, Jason has a shrine set up to his mother, and she still has the sweater on that his mother wore when she died. And so that at the end, there's the one girl left, and she was uh, studying child psychology so she takes the I got that one um, she takes the mother's sweater off and puts it on and manages to trick Jason into thinking it's his mother so she doesn't get killed right away and in this game if you can get the mother's sweater and put it on it has the damage that Jason does to you so yeah it's a nice item to get uh, if you can get it, but it's it's very hard because you get lost in the cave and uh, she's she's tough. She's tough to fight. Okay. Um, you can't beat the the game without killing Jason. So she is sort of a boss fight, uh, if you want to call it that. Um. But you're not going to beat the game by by killing her. It's just you get a... Oops, no, other... Jump! Um, you get a really powerful weapon when you um, defeat her. This is the one I thought I was missing before. I've got to be close! Because the, the fireplace is... Yes, the fireplaces stay lit when the counselors die. So is that the last one? Did I just get the last one? <gasps> Oh my gosh, I might have. Go into one of the cabins by the lake. Okay, guys, I think I might have the torch. I think if I can get there in time. Oh, well, I think he's going to end up killing the kids. And that sucks. If you, I think, oh, I hope that doesn't lose the game. I'm so close. Yep, he just killed the kids. That means he's coming after me. Okay, yep, I want to go there. Okay, one of these cabins. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Go away! <sighs> okay. Well, I'm by the lake, so I get really lucky, and the torch could be in this house. That would be phenomenal. It's on the last screen as you're leaving the cabin, if it's in here. Okay, it's not this one. It's to the right. Don't hit me. Get out of there. He's, he's definitely going to be coming for me. The kids are dead, so he's just coming for counselors. Just, okay, let's go in here. my last one. If I could just get the torch then I might have a chance. Well, it's not 
down in here. Please give me a dagger or something. Okay. I keep going right. It's gotta be here. Please give me a knife. That's a key. in here. I have to have gotten all the all the fireplaces. I don't know what one I'd be missing. Please give me the torch. Well, not in that one. It said by the lake, so I guess I'll just keep going right and see if um, it's in one of these other ones. Would you please give me a dagger, at least? Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I thought I'd be able to beat this for you tonight, but it doesn't look like that's happening. Oh! That one wasn't lit! Okay! Well, that had to be the last one, right? Is there a note here for me? No. Come on, you guys. Give me the torch. Nothing here yet. Well, I mean... But there's no other cabins left. Uh... I don't know. I either missed one. Oh. Go into the cabin near the end. You always say stuff like that. So, have I missed... I just lit that one too. What? what? I was so certain that they stayed lit after you lost a counselor. Maybe I was wrong. No notes that I've gotten the weapon. Well, I know I've gotten all the ones around the lake, so... I don't know. I missed something. Killing the children. I gotta be able to get that weapon, and I can't find it, so I don't quite know what else to do. Oop. Yeah. Yeah, he, he might stick around to try to kill me now. Because I'm the last one, and I don't have much health left. He does stick around longer than other times. Longer sometimes. Come on, Chrissy. Yep, he's gonna stick around. He wants to finish at me. That might be a good thing. Maybe uh, that means I am close. Shh. 
He, yeah, he's, uh, he's sticking around to try to finish me off. No, I dodged. Could just be really close. <sighs> Come on. If I have to stand here and kill him with these rocks, this is going to be a very long fight. Oh, he is not going to go away. Dude. I mean, I can kill you this way. It's going to take forever, but... I, I kind of hope he does stay now because I want to show you what happens when you get him down to zero hit points now. Because I can concentrate long enough to keep dodging. like it's going to be him or me. Yep, he's staying until one of us is dead. I'm getting him down, at least. Oh, I almost missed that time. do this. I can get him. I can totally get him. Got this. I'm sorry if I'm being really quiet. I'm just really trying to concentrate because I really want to kill him. I want to show you guys what happens after this. Oh, that was close. Jason, you got three bars left. This was not your wisest move. I'm going to get you. Just because I'm low on health, too. Oh, 
<gasps> oh no! Oh, 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 oh no! I just wanted to show you guys what was gonna happen. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, hold on. I gotta get a drink and get some chocolate therapy <laughs> for a second. And then I'm going to try one more time. <laughs> oh, I was so close. It was literally one punch away. Well, if he hit me one punch, I would have died. And I had to get him a few more times. He was so close. Oh, <laughs> okay. The drink, let me get some chocolate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Yeah, he does when it when it's only one one uh counselor left. A lot of times he will just hang around until you either die or he dies. And he knew that was my last person. I also think I had to have been getting close to having all the cabins because uh yeah, I just had to have been close because I don't know which one I would have missed. Oh. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. I'm eating a Mr. Good bar. So good. Mm. My right arm is really sore. I was in the office today. I guess I just used it a lot, so it's... Ow. <laughs> There's a reason I'm gonna have to stop soon, but I'm gonna try it. I think I can get him this time. And it... Hopefully I'll get the torch, but if I don't, and it comes down to another fight to the finish like that, I can get him. And it's so much easier with the torch and the machete and all that. I have to edit edit both of these videos before I put them on YouTube alright I'm almost done with this chocolate hmm All right. <laughs> I also have one of those really yummy um, Starbucks bottled Frappuccino things. No, I'm not sponsored, but I love these bottled Frappuccino. Mine is vanilla. They're <laughs> so freaking good. There's probably so many <laughs> calories in there. I'm really tempted to drink it because I find it a very comforting flavor, but I know if I do, I'm going to be up until I won't sleep. <laughs> Period. If it's this late. I'll drink it tomorrow morning. Mmm. Yes. Chocolate break, man. Alright. Alright. Fortified by chocolate. I shall be victorious. I shall be victorious. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you've ever played uh, Neverwinter Nights for the PC, which is one of my favorites, <laughs> I have a. I did a playlist of the first chapter on my um, YouTube, but. <laughs> you, when you make a new character, you get to pick a, a voice for the characters, and they do these different phrases. <laughs> one of the phrases for the women that you can pick is she says, I shall be victorious. So that's that. <laughs> I was just making a reference to that. Okay. Making fun of Neverwinter Winter Nights. Affectionately, because I love that game. But. Okay, alright. We're totally going to do it this time. And again, I'm going to save my uh, good characters for the end. 
And I think uh, I definitely need to work on... I'm going to go right this time. So right from the bottom. Oh, torch. I definitely need to work on dodging critters. So that I can stay awake longer. Okay. So I'm just going to go straight up right from here. And uh, try to remember which cabins I have and don't have here. Okay. Um, I need a torch. Give me a torch. Ooh. Well, that's good. Medicine's always good. Do I have a torch? No. Where are you? Oh. Of course you're on the other side of the map. Oh, I do have a torch. Okay, good. Um, okay. We'll make our way up there. Uh, doing torches on the way. So, yeah. Started at the bottom, going to the right, and up and around. Um, we'll get him. We're gonna get him. Nope, I'm not going anywhere. I just need to go right. Love to have a better weapon, but. I'm coming, I'm coming. It seems like with the with the angle of the the baseballs or rocks or whatever it is, sometimes it, it works best if you duck. That's why I'm doing that. I don't have time for this, but there's a key. Whoa. The key is for the cabin. Is it in the cave? No. Oh, I don't have time. There's gotta be another way to teleport in this. Okay, I'm getting real close. I wonder who he's killing. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. Go into one of the cabins by the lake. Yeah, you always say that and nothing happens. Look at his goofy little face up on the top. <laughs> Alright, I'm still I'm going to the right, right? Is that the right proper drip? How did I forget that quickly? So close. I have a feeling I'm gonna get there just to... Is it right or left? They do look like spitballs. Do I go right or left to go down? I go right? Yes! All right! For once in my life, I got it right. Oh, Debbie's hurting. Fortunately, she's not, whoa, one of the good ones, so. But still, I'd rather she didn't obviously die. Yeah, I, I don't, you know, when you're out on the road, they look like baseballs to me, but in here, with that little picture down below you, they look like, yeah, rocks or spitballs. I don't know what they're supposed to be. My guess is rocks, just because rocks are, um, you know, I guess if, if impromptu weapon, that would be the most uh, obvious thing. Yeah, Debbie's hurting, unfortunately. Sorry, Debbie. Excuse me. Okay. All right. So I went up around the top, so let's go back this way. Up, oh, up, oh, here he comes. Okay, you go that way. Oh, there, I got a knife. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. I'm going back to the outside perimeter because uh, I wanna get the rest of these. Okay, so I'm gonna go down, which this way, I think. Oh, come on! I could, I'm going to be chasing him. I bet he's in that house. I'm trying to go around the outer edge. And Once I do this, then I'll... Um, there's machete hidden somewhere in the cave. Well, that would be lovely if I could find it. Okay. After I'm done at the outer perimeter, then I'll go in and try to remember which ones I have. 
which I don't. But I think uh, I think I've done enough that you you can kind of see how it's, it's supposed to be played. So that's good. I just uh, haven't managed to beat it yet. I haven't managed to uh, get the torch. And once you get the torch, I mean, it it goes so much faster. Why I did that? I don't really even need that. I think I go left. Yeah. Okay. Oop. I don't know why I bother with these. They're dumb. Go into the cabin near the cave. They're not. <laughs> they're not helping me. The only one that I really want to see is the one telling me that there is a torch in one of the cabins by the lake. That I'll be happy about. So far, shoot, crap. Now, which way was I going? Left, I think, right? Yes. And I need to go to the right. See, how can he be out here in the water hurting me and in killing children at the same time? That's one of the annoying things about this game. Okay. All right. I got three medicines. So, oh, well, pretty good. Ah. You see what whoa, comes straight down like that? That's when he does the two attacks. Instead of like going back into the side, he'll come straight down, and that's the that's the two attacks. I always thought his feet looked kind of funny. There's no toes. I guess technically he'd be wearing shoes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Save the kids. All right. Um. Have I gotten all the ones around the edge? I think I might have gotten them all. So should I go to the right and kind of try to get the ones inside that ring? Fortunately, at least he's got medicine. Uh, that's what that pause was. It was uh, me dying. And the medicine... Oh, the medicine reviving me. Okay, to the right is down, right? I hope so. Come on. I'm coming! I went the wrong way. Does it change? I mean, is down sometimes left and sometimes right? I don't get it. All right, well. <laughs> now, what is that that weapon that he has in his hand right now? What does it look like to you? I'm interested because uh, I watch again. I, I watched some streamers playing this, and when they they laughed and they said, "Well, I always thought that was X instead of a weapon." I laughed so hard because that's always what I thought too. It does not look like what it is. I'm just curious if you. Oh, he left pretty quick that time. <laughs> if, did, what did that look like to you? <laughs> it's supposed to be an axe. I always thought it looked like a big Orby toothbrush. So, yeah, I laughed really hard when uh, the last person I watched play this did that. Okay, so... Right, maybe I missed the one at the top. Uh. Yeah, the weapon that Jason was using just a minute ago when I was fighting him. It, it was supposed to be an axe. I always thought it looked like a big Orl B toothbrush. Okay, I think I have to get that one up the top there, so we're gonna keep going. Yeah. This one. I don't think I've gotten this one. Toilet cleaner? <laughs> yeah. It definitely doesn't look like an axe. I mean, you can kind of see it. But, okay. Okay. So. 
gotten all the ones on the edges. I <gasps> the torch! Oh, oh. Okay, the torch. Okay, okay. Okay. What I need to do now? Yes, take the torch. Obviously, take the torch. Um, I have two medicines, but I don't think that's gonna be enough to keep George alive. So what I'd like to do is see if I can find one of the other counselors and um, pass off the torch to them, one of the better ones. So help me figure out which direction to go. But I bet you, I bet you he's gonna attack me on the road. Okay. I'm gonna keep going this direction and that should get me there. I actually kind of want to meet him now because I got the torch. I I'm not jumping because when you jump, you have a chance of uh, getting something else. I'm also, unfortunately, not going very quickly this way. I hope he's not killing one of the good ones. Well, I guess if I'm... <laughs> well, he could kill you with his bare hands. Yeah, I got all of these. I had to have gotten all of them. I didn't need to come in here. Because I wouldn't have gotten a torch if, um, if I had gotten all of them. <sighs> come on. Got the torch. Okay. Okay, now I want to go to the right, so... No! Okay, alright. Debbie is not one of my good ones, but if you watch her as I'm fighting him, and he might stick around to try to kill me because she has... Oh, <gasps> how do I switch off the tours to her? Okay. Oh, she's almost dead too, there's no point. Okay, never mind. Uh, but you'll see when I fight him, each time I hit him with a torch, one of those little bars is going to be down. <laughs> That's pretty true. I'm sure there's some uh, horror movie out there. No, 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 no. Go, go. There's some horror movie out there when somebody kills somebody with a toothbrush. I can do this. I can dodge him. My goal, at the moment, there's that toothbrush again, is to show you what happens when you beat him once. See? Every time. This is what you want. And at some point you get up in the game, you'll get a letter that says fire will dam damage Jason the most. But we didn't really run across that, I just happened to know. Shoot. Okay, we really don't want to lose George right now with this torch. Ideally, I want to uh, pass this torch off to somebody. Okay, so... I'm not going to pass it off to Debbie because she's almost dead. How do I... I'm trying to figure out how do I go to one of these other dudes. Everybody's alive and I have the torch. Okay, so... How do I figure out which... I don't know how to do this. How do I figure out which house these guys are in. Well, let's just here. If I can he's gonna get me on the road. But if I can get this torch to somebody else. That wasn't fair. I think he's gonna attack me on the road because I'm almost dead and I have the torch. No, nobody's in here. So close. Ah! I didn't go back in there. Stupid thing. I'm so close, Britain. I have the main weapon to kill Jason and I have all my people left. But this guy that has the torch is almost dead. Sorry, I'm updating my son. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't yeah, thanks, mess up. Britain. Watch, he's gonna come get me on the road and I'm gonna die and that'll be all she wrote. It would be smart of him to come get me on the road right now. So, there's not anybody in here. What? Yeah, pretty much. 
<laughs> That's all I've got left. So if he hits me on the road now, I'm dead. Hey, it looked like I lit that one. How could I light it if they're already lit? Oh, interesting. You can find a torch in one of the cabins by the lake. Well, thanks. I already found it, but, uh, you know, thanks for letting me know. I'm trying to get to another cabin to pass off this torch. That's machete. But! Oh! Any other time, I would love to get that. However, the torch is the most powerful, so I'm going to keep this. Is there another person in that? No, I don't think so. Well, just so you know, that's what a machete looks like when you get it. I'm trying to find another counselor. No, there's nobody in here. If I knew how to read the map uh, to see which counselor is where, I'd be okay. Oh, I'll get tired. Yeah, my last attempt, but it's gonna be a good one. Who are you killing, children? Yeah, it's Yeah, it's getting there. Alright, I gotta turn around. I hope I'm going the right way. Yeah, I am. Check the turkey. I think it's okay, but that kind of turkey tends to last a lot longer than um stuff. Sorry. If I can survive the trip to him. I gotta go slow because these things... I got one hit point left. If they kill me, I'm dead. And the torch is gone. <clears throat> well, okay. I only lost my first one. Okay? So, we can do this again. We really can. Let's see, where do we want to start? That's one of my good ones. I want to start with a bad one again. Oh, and he just immediately launches into killing the kids. I don't think he liked that I had that torch. So, all right. I don't know if I decide to do it the right way or not. Is this the right way? No. Of course it's not. I just could have held on to that torch or passed it off. Maybe another machete will appear. That'd be nice. Yeah, this is it. And then I'm um, going to the left. So I think you, you see the general theory of how to beat this game. And it is possible. It is. It's just really tricky. He's hurting. He's almost down to half. And this is only my second dude. That torch got him down pretty good the one time I ran into him with it. Alright, now I, as far as which, uh, which houses I have to get, uh, I don't even know anymore. They did say there was a torch in one of the cabins by the lake, but, uh, I think that might have gone away when that last person died. I hate the water, you just, it's so impossible to dodge. Alright, well, I'm thinking I should go left, which probably means I need to go right. So... Am I going the right way? 
<laughs> yep, I was. Whatever way I think I should be going, go the opposite direction. Oh. Go into the cabin near the cave. Well, I don't know if that's going to do anything. But, there. Yeah, um, look up some other people uh, playing this game on, um, on YouTube and uh, it, it, it's once you, once you get the hang of it, it's relatively simple to do. Okay. And uh, most people are better directions than I am, so it doesn't usually take this long to kill him when you know what you're doing. I just, uh, yeah. Come on. Oh, good. Got a dagger. It's better than the stupid, uh, rocks, or whatever they are. Spit wads. Okay, there's another one. Okay. Keep going left. I guess I'm getting the interior this time. And obviously having a better weapon. Okay. Wait here, right? No, I don't want to go into the... I mean, I could go to the forest, but... At the moment, I'm trying to get to the outer edge, because I think I got all the ones on the interior. Yeah. Uh... I'm thinking right is down, so I'm going to go left. <laughs> I was correct. Opposite direction. <laughs> I thought to go one way, so I went the opposite. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, so I think I got all the interior ones. I'm gonna keep going around the edge. Try to get these. Who are you killing? Alright, well, I'm coming that way. I'll get you. And fortunately, Paul is slow. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming! Goodness, you're slow, Paul. Almost there. Okay. Yeah, that's... I mean... <laughs> Go opposite. There's a machete hidden somewhere in the cave. That's just, I'm always wrong with directions, so. Okay. Almost there. Let's get out of here. Oh, hello, my back. I wasn't paying attention. I was using really bad posture that time, so that's kind of my fault. I'm thinking down is right, which means we go left. Honestly, that's all I'm doing is just going exactly opposite. Okay, well, that time I was wrong, but it's okay. I got another fireplace to get here. Okay. Okay. So go right out of here, I think. I think. I hope he's not getting one of my good ones. Okay, next house. Almost there! Woo! Mark! Okay, Mark is one of my best dudes, of course. Oops, that's all I meant to do. Shoot. 
Yeah, I wasn't quite de dead, was I? All right. Well, Mark doesn't have much life left, but I'm gonna take him. Oh, here comes Jason on the road. Can I go down and, and dodge him, maybe? That might have worked. Because he was on that road. Oh, I don't have a torch. Or a lighter. There's no good me being in here, although this is not lit. Oh. Need a torch. I mean, lighter. Uh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well at least at least you're able to see how you're supposed to win. <laughs> Even if I can't accomplish it. Hey, it is a good game. It, it's a challenge and it's a good game. Death! Please give me... Alright, there's a torch. No! I didn't hit up! Are you serious? Right. No, I don't have a lighter anymore. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> I was about to say I'm almost dead. Oh, good lord. I want to take Chrissy. She's my best girl. We're going to go with her and see if she can win the day for us. Uh, I think I got her one. I don't, I don't remember which ones I got and didn't get. Well, he's going for the kids, so. Okay, well, there's some torches. Did I go the right way? Oh, I did. About that. To the right. Stop killing my girl, man. Just, there's really no effective way to dodge, so. <sighs> Maybe he'll decide to stick with Chrissy this time. I doubt it, but. Jason. You're halfway. They went away already. Okay. I don't I don't remember. Which which way? Let's go left. Just cause. Uh, uh, sorry, my, I think my brain is getting really tired. I, uh, I've had trouble sleeping the past few nights. Or, or trouble going to sleep, I guess maybe is the right way to say it. I just, um, for some reason my mind didn't want to turn off, so I ended up staying up and watching, um, uh, watching Netflix until like 3 in the morning the past two nights. And I didn't take any naps, even though I was home, and I could have. Because I was trying to get my, um, sleeping schedule back so yeah I'm, I'm starting to crash <laughs> really tired oh it's not your fault it's fine but thank you for the um, okay it just my brain is, is crashing it's like oop Doesn't always happen, but uh, I'm weaning myself off of one medication. So well, your device will restart to update outside of active hours. Remember to leave it on. Okay, sorry, <laughs> computer message. Okay, um, 
down? I would go left to go down, but that's... So let's go right. Oh, I should have listened to myself the last time. Oh, good. There's a knife. Who are you killing this time? Yeah, that's true. If you crash hard, you'd probably sleep pretty good. Which is good, because I can sleep in tomorrow. I don't usually sleep in terribly late when my schedule is, is correct. Uh, but clearly, uh, usually, so I don't know. The thing is, if I sleep in tomorrow, oh, there I am. Um, <laughs> I might miss my morning stream. My morning stream is punch out, so I know you guys don't want me to miss that. But, <laughs> I mean, it's not that early. It's, it's like 10 to 12, but... Boy, am I crashing. Oh, boy. I'm just hitting this mental wall. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, I don't remember which ones I have. <laughs> oh, boy. Gotten and not gotten. Um... I'm kind of tempted to try to go into the woods or the cave. Yeah, I know. I can't miss Punch-Out. <laughs> Everybody loves Punch-Out. I'm kind of tempted. Let's go in the forest just to see what happens. Sometimes he'll come at you in the... Uh, oops. In the forest pathway. You generally get a lot of uh, medicine in the, in the woods. So that's the good thing about it. Yes, Bald Bull is waiting. Hockey, 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 or however he. Let's go this way. <laughs> yeah, the woods. Oh, the woods are really confusing. But I'd like to get to that cave over there. Go away, fox butt. Oh, bald bull. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna beat him this time, though. I hope. See, look, it doesn't make. There's no logical sense for this. Of course, he's gonna kill the children while I'm here. It, how do you? I mean, I do have a horrible sense of direction, but there's no. There's no logic in this. You can't. Okay, well, there I got out now. <laughs> well, I should have gone right because I thought I should go left. And I went the wrong way. Either. <laughs> wow. Alright. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go left. Oh, I was right that time. <sighs> yeah. Someday. Maybe. <laughs> well, I mean, I got stuck before on Don Flamenco and what was the other one? I, I got bored. No, I didn't really get stuck. Did I just die? Okay. <laughs> um, who's the other dude I got stuck on? Don Flamenco. Oh, the tiger. The great tiger. But I passed them. Oh. There you are. Toothbrush. Woo! Whoop. Shoot. Colgate Winter Fresh. Alright. Well, Laura and Debbie both suck. Jeez, Jason. She's a little faster, but that's... You don't even have a lighter. Give me a lighter! <laughs> oh. 
go into the cabin near the cave. Blah, blah, blah. Ouch, ow. My wrist hurts. <laughs> yeah, he sure did. Oi, puns. Wow. I love puns, actually. If you ever played a Sierra game, I love puns. Those are my Quest for Glory games. Isn't that cheatery the way he just jumps out of the water? Well, the one night I was watching Netflix and, and I wanted to go to sleep, but I couldn't go to sleep and ended up watching... I, I like, uh, I really like the... There are these documentary shows about supernatural experiences people have. Because I, I think I mentioned that before. I like supernatural horror. And I know people that have had that happen to them. And I believe in angels and demons and stuff. So it's creepy. And unfortunately, this, this particular episode that I was watching was uh, horrific in the truest sense of the word. But not because of ghosts. It was because if... Well, I don't know if you've ever heard of... It's the... New Bethany Church, or not church, New Bethany School for Boys and Girls. I, have you ever heard of those? Uh, basically, that it was a camp where, in the name of religion, um, they would torture these uh, young men and women. <sighs> um, yeah, I know. Uh, oh, it was, it's called Haunted. It's on Netflix. Not The Haunted, but it's called Haunted. And it's season two, episode, I think, three. But, whoa, the Bethany School, New Bethany School for um, Girls and Boys. And they, it, the story was about this man who, when he was five or six, this church, and it wasn't a Christian church, it was a cult. It was like Latter-day Saints, um, something like Latter-day Saints in a, a Advent, Seventh-day Adventist kind of church. But uh, they told him when he was five or six that he was possessed by a demon um, that was making him gay. And so they, when he was a little bit older, they were always telling him he was possessed by this demon. And they were, she was treated horribly because of it. He was supposed to be punished, punished because of this. And eventually when he was um, coming of age, they took him to this new Bethany school. And... Uh, Basically, I'm not going to go into details, but uh, it tortured him um, in horrific ways, uh, trying to beat this out of him. And uh, they had him so brainwashed that he really did think he was evil and that it was his fault. Um, yeah, it was just, I mean, um, I'm trying not to give away too many details. It's, it's, it was terribly graphic, and it wasn't really supernatural at all. Um, but it was probably the most disturbing episode of a quote-unquote supernatural um, documentary show that I've ever seen in my life. It, it is just, it was so upsetting to me. I was in tears and, and, um, and then I couldn't go to sleep because <laughs> my head was stuck on this disturbing episode of the show. I'm like, man, just show me a ghost next time. I'll be much happier. Ugh. <laughs> uh. So then, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, I couldn't go to, last night, I, I wasn't, I wasn't consciously thinking of it, but I just couldn't go to sleep, so, yeah, anyway, yeah, I mean, if you, yeah, it was horrible, um, if you, if you want to look it up, you can, there's just, and, and the, the state was letting it going on for years until finally, um, sometime in the 90s, the state finally raided, uh, some of these schools, led by this horrific preacher and um they rescued a lot of these kids these young kids and um started hearing the horror stories coming out of the place that yeah what was being done to these kids and the brainwashing and everything else that that went into it and it just ugh. i mean i always feel sort of an obligation when i watch those things an obligation that Yes, it's disturbing, but at the same time, people need to know what happened, you know? And, um, somebody has to care, you know what I mean? I'm about to kill him! He's sticking around for some bizarre reason. 
and he's got one bar left. So this is awesome. I'm actually, it looks like going to meet my goal because I really wanted to show you what happens um, at when you beat him for the first time. And obviously he gets a lot harder. I just, okay, look, 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 this is what happens. Hold on. I'll, I'll answer that in a question, but or a question in a minute. I just want to show you this. Watch out. Jason's still alive and stronger than before. Okay, this is my goal. I wanted to show you what happens when you get him down to zero health hit points. So, he's still, hello, oh, <laughs> um, you basically start over trying to light the torches and get the best possible weapons to defeat him. Thank you. I, I should have done that before. I should have started talking about something else and uh, kind of gone into automatic mode and I probably would have done a lot better. <laughs> Whoops, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna basically start lighting, um, lighting fireplaces again, once I get a torch. And I'm trying to get the torch again. Or some kind of different, good, die. Some kind of different weapon. Um, okay, have I ever had a supernatural experience? Honestly? Not that I consciously remember, although I have had some pretty vivid nightmares where I'm not sure that um, if I did have an actual uh, supernatural experience or if it was a dream, uh, I think I've had sleep paralysis before, which is terrifying. Um, but I've known people that have, um, people my family have, and... I don't know, uh, because I believe in angels and demons and God and stuff, it it, it, I don't, it seems to make sense to me. Here's my theory on ghosts. We're getting pretty the theological. Give me a friggin' lighter. Do I have a lighter? Oh. <laughs> Standing there waiting for one and I already have one. Okay. Uh, well, wait. Let's make sure we have this uh, <laughs> fireplace lit. Um. Anyway, it makes sense to me that if God is real, and I believe he's very real, and Satan is real, and fortunately I believe he's very real too, it makes sense to me that there would be ghosts, because there's obviously an invisible supernatural world, right? And my theory, and I don't know if this is true or not, um, but my theory is that if, okay, if people die, um, who are not people of faith and don't believe in Jesus and stuff, okay? Um, they would go to hell. Well, hell is supposed to be all about torment. Well, what greater torment could there be for somebody than to be stuck perpetually in this in-between world where they would have to watch their friends and family go on without them and never be able to take place and or take part in their lives again? I mean, what kind of greater hell would there be for that? So... Uh, I think that's possible, that uh, ghosts could be tormented spirits, um, who knows. Some ghosts I think are demons, passing themselves off as something else just to, uh, you know, <laughs> make people, scare people and um, mess with them. So that's, that's part of it. So yeah recurring nightmare I have about sitting down a highway at night, oh, or driving down a, wait, about sting down a highway at night? Oh, driving, okay. Okay. Yeah, I would like to hear you. Okay. Um. Yeah. I also believe in supernatural abilities. I, I don't know if I would call them psychic abilities or not, but um, I think certain people are uh, either born with at birth or given um, supernatural abilities. Um, extreme empathy, uh, what my church would call a prophetic gift, being able to know people or know something 
uh, somehow know, supernatural be, know something is going to happen or have a word for somebody that sorry, I'm wrong way. Um, that they shouldn't be able to know. So I thought I was going the right way there. So is that all that happens in the dream or does something else happen in the dream? Um, you're driving down a highway at night surrounded by water. Oof! That's freaky to me. I actually had a, a close call one time. I was driving up in... Alright, I'm about to fight him again. Oh, here. Um, this You gotta see how crazy he is. And this is the second round. I'll give you a hint. There's three rounds to Jason. Oh, he's not... Normally he's much worse than this for second round. He's... Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he goes like Super Saiyan and goes really, really fast. All right, I got one left. I'm, I'm actually good if I don't beat him now. Or win, because I, I wanted to show you what happens when he goes Super Saiyan. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. And that this is the second round through. When he gets to the third round, he is just insanely fast. And it's crazy. So, yeah. Oh. Um, anyway, what I, was, what I was saying is that it had been raining. Oh, I don't have a torch. Or lighter. Um, it had been raining a lot, and it had been flooding in a lot of areas. And my son uh, had to go up to this town a little ways away from us to pick up some medicine. Our vet was in that town. And we knew it had been flooding. Um, the turnoff to the vet is one of those roads that comes up on you sooner than you expect it to. So, I almost missed the, the turn, but I turned, and there was a, what do you call that, a, a, yeah, let's see when it gets going here, hopefully I can, you can see him here again, go crazy, um, there was a, oh, he's not doing it yet, he will in a minute, um, horse, a sawhorse, in the, in the road where we had turned, but it wasn't all the way across the road, and we we had had to uh, ah, make a, a very quick turn, so we <laughs> yeah, we turned onto this road and um, the sawhorse wasn't covering the whole thing, so we ended up driving beside the sawhorse and down the road, and the road uh went down like it dipped down uh into a lower elevation and we looked and all of a sudden in front of us all we could see across the road covering the entire road and on both sides of the road was the creek that was normally there and it, it looked like it was deep it was totally covering everything on the left and the right of the road and the road itself and it was freaky it was freaky we um we were able to turn around fortunately and um and go back out but what kind of stupid cop would not cover the entire road so the people couldn't go down there. And it was one of, again, it was one of those turns that you almost missed when you were going by. That was freaky. I, I have issues sometimes with water. Uh, certain circumstances. Uh, I'm terrified of waterfalls, high bridges, um, generally heights that are over water. <laughs> but that situation scared the poop out of me too. I guess something about accidentally driving into water or driving above water, something. Um, that's what it reminded me of when you said you were driving down a highway at night surrounded by water. <laughs> so yeah, it, but that was freaky. That was kind of traumatic, just uh, accidentally driving past that, that barrier and just the road ahead was gone. It was underwater. It, it was just, just the idea that we could have accidentally slipped down in that water in the car and drowned. It, yeah, it, it was nuts. So certain circumstances with water, I'm pretty freaky oceans kind of scare me because um, the heights and the water thing together, like tsunamis. Um, ooh, um, yeah, rogue waves. That type of stuff freaks me out like crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, I can totally see why your, uh, your dream is scary. Did anything else happen or you were just uh, driving down the highway surrounded by water? I mean, that's scary enough to me, but I was just wondering if anything else happened. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my goodness, it's been over three hours. No wonder I'm stiff. Okay, well, um, I'm going to attempt to come on tomorrow morning to play Punch Out. Um, I, I mean, 10 o'clock is not early, so I should be fine. Um, even if I got up at 9.30, I, and that's late for me, I should be fine to play tomorrow. But <laughs> that's what's on tap for tomorrow morning. And then the normal stuff. Um, 4 to 6 is the Sims 4 stream. And 7 to 9 is the Stardew Valley stream tomorrow. So that's what's on tap. I am very tired. Um, I did, obviously, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> just woke up. I didn't uh, beat the game, but I beat Jason once. And that makes me happy because I got to show you. Now, that Super Saiyan, when he started going really quickly, that's, again, that's just the second round. You got to see him on the third round. He is insane. Uh, but anyway, I, I beat my goal, and I, I think I showed you it. it is beatable, and it's very fun when you know how to beat it. Yeah. Yeah, ending the stream with Nightbear Talk. <laughs> Sleeping screwed. Well, hopefully not. I did not indulge in this delicious-looking Frappuccino vanilla Starbucks coffee. I'm going to have that tomorrow morning before I play Punch-Out. And uh, so I think my fingers are going to go steroidal <laughs> from caffeine. So maybe I'll finally be able to get beat the bowl. So, yeah. No, I think, what am I going to, instead of uh, watching anything scary as I'm going to sleep, I'll probably put on something, uh, I don't know, a cartoon. <laughs> I like cartoons or something inspiring, <coughs> just so I can relax. Okay. Well, uh, I'm, I'm glad you came in, Metallic. I appreciate it. You kept me company here, and, and when I was playing a scary game, it's nice to have company. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. It was fun talking, chatting. And hopefully, I will see you tomorrow for uh, Punch Out. See if I can beat the bowl with my caffeine. <laughs> All right. So, everybody else that comes in and watches this later, or if you popped in while I was playing, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed watching, please, if you haven't done so already, drop me a follow. Check out my YouTube channel, Retros YT. Same, same name is here. I'd appreciate it. Okay. I'll see you guys at tomorrow's stream. Bye-bye.